Today in Zachary's Three Prints News and Updates, we are going to check if we can find any news about the CR30 from Coreality, the Belt 3D printer, and also check the status on the CR6 SE on Kickstarter. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Sakuri from Sakuri 3D Prints. Today, we are going to check out the CR30 from Coreality. What is the status about this 3D printer? Since the live stream in March from Coreality, we had several announcements about their six new 3D printers that are going to be released in 2020 or maybe later in this year. But what about the CR30? What's the status of this 3D printer? And the reason why I'm asking this is because in the meantime, Creality already released some of their new 3D printers, like the Ender 3 version 2, which is on pre-order on June this year. Next month, they are going to be shipping those Ender 3 version 2, but also the CR6 SE, which is still on Kickstarter. But later, I will tell more about this Kickstarter project. The Ender 6 and the CR5 Pro are already available on their site, but you can do an inquiry, whatever that means, because I don't actually see a button where you can buy this 3D printer. What do we know about this Infinitive 3D printer with a belt as building service? Well, this is the only one 3D printer that Creality announced without a Cabo Random glass bed. The printer is a triangle shaped 3D printer where the Z axis is tilted backwards or frontwards, I don't know. So the Z axis is tilted backwards at a 45 degree angle where the normal 3D printer has an angle of 90 degrees. So this 3D printer is printing on the X axis from the left to the right and the belt is moving back and forwards and then you have the Z height that is going higher. How is it going to be printing? Well, this 3D printer has two modes. One is the infinitive mode, which is used to print very long objects. Well, Granity said on the announcement on the live stream that this printer is capable of printing something until the 100 meters. So that would mean that instead of normal layer by layer, it's going to print in a diagonal way. So it's starting to print from left to the right and the bed is moving, but then the Z axis is also going to move up and downwards every time that the print is moving to the front or to the back, depending on in which direction the printer is going to print the infinitive object. Well, infinitive in the way of 100 meters maximum. The other one, the other mode that you have on this 3D printer is a continuous 3D printing mode. So that will mean you can print like a hundred benches. I'm printing something now. When it is finished, it stops, it moves the belt, and then it starts printing again. It can be the same model, it can be different kind of models, depending on what is in the batch of this 3D printer. Whether you, you use the slicer or a, a different kind of slicer, I don't know. But for this 3D printer, when the print is done, it moves up and then it starts a new print. After it's reached some, some models, then the first print model will be go off the belt and then you can gather it. That is the way I think this printer is working for the most of the part. But hey, we will see more demo videos about this 3D printer. Besides the infinitive mode 3D printing and the continuous 3D printing mode, what can we tell about this 3D printer? Well, the printer on the picture doesn't look that big. The machine size is 650 times 490 times 420 millimeters. The weight for this 3D printer is around the 12 kilograms. So a little bit heavier than the Ender 3 Pro that is on the backside. The printer does look very rigid. It has aluminium profiles 
and also injected molded plastic parts. The belt is a very strong. The material of the belt, I don't know. Creality mentioned in the live stream that the belt is very rigid and is strong. It doesn't have that much wear. The ad adhesion from this belt is great and prints stick very well to the belt because the belt is every time moving so it has to be as strong as possible. The printing volume. The printing volume is 258 times 200 times infinitive. Well, the nozzle temperature is to a maximum of 260 degrees Celsius. So you can print PLA, PTEG, and I think also ABS. But then for the last one, I can see on the picture that everything is as much as possible within the frame. I think that there is a possibility to add a enclosure over your CR30. But at the other hand, but then you have the extruder and also the carriage that is that are moving. So I don't know if there is an enclosure coming for that, but if you have a temperature to 260 degrees, there should be a possibility to print ABS or other plastics that you can print with this 3D printer. I think there is a heat bed underneath the belt. Why? Because it is a 3D printer with the, the idea behind it that you can use it in small productions. So if you are printing material like PLA, it wouldn't make any sense. However, if you have something like ABS or PTG, those materials are way stronger and more heat resistant. So I think you can print ABS with this within enclosure. But time will tell. The only two people that touch this 3D printer in real life are Naomi the Sexy Cyborg and also I saw a tweeter coming by from the White Knight and he did receive a alpha model. That means this is a model that are going to be changed and they want to know from certain people what do they think about this 3D printer and what can they improve with that. I know from the white knight that he has experience with infinitive 3D printing machines. So I, I would suggest to check out after this video links to their channels in the description of this video and you will get notifications if they are going to release some videos. And of course on this channel when I have some more news about this CR30 I will tell you as soon as possible. More news. The CR6 SE on Kickstarter. What about it? What's the news and what can I tell you about this? So the CR6 is still on Kickstarter. There are there are just six days left on Kickstarter. What is the status of this Kickstarter campaign until now that I recorded this video? They have pledged more than $3.3 million and more than 8,778 people backed this project. There are some content creators on YouTube, but also some other sites that got their hands on a pre-production model. I'm not going to put the link in the description, because when you are going to see the Kickstarter campaign, you will see the people who received a pre-production model and you can check out their video or their review about this CR6 SE. Well, but wait, there is more. When they reached the $1 million, they added a 32-bit mainboard to the 3D printer as an option. After reaching 2 million, they added the option to add 10 nozzles and a PTFE tube for upgrading your CR6 SE. And when you reach the 3 million, they added the TMC2209 drivers as a option. And there is also another goal still to be revealed. When they are reaching 5 million, they are going to provide a exclusive color. I don't really know what they are meaning with that. A roll of filament, a different kind of color of your CR6 SE? I don't know, but time will tell. And then when you scroll more down, you have the section add-ons. I didn't see that before. There are more add-ons for this printer, but how does it work? You find your pledge, add if you want a, for example, auto level strain gauge of $7 to your reward price manually. 
and of course if you want to have more items you can add them but as long as you add the amount of money to the reward price. Corality is going to send a survey to all backers when they have finished the project and you can note what add-in you have added to your pledge. Well, I think that sounds great. I think that sounds great. These printers are going to be shipped in or after August of 2020. I will put the link of the CR6 SE on Kickstarter in the description of this video. Well, I also want to add a link in the description for the CR30, but it's not there. I will put the link of both YouTubers Naomi the Sexy Cyborg and also the White Knight YouTube channel in the description of this video so that you can check out their channel when they are adding some videos about the CR30. Well, that is it for Zachary's 3D Prints news and updates. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints and I will see you next time. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye-bye.